Hello and welcome to yet another Outside Inside Star Citizen. Today we're going to do something a bit different. Uh, we're not going to watch the entire thing because uh, they showed us two ships, one of which is the Pisces, and we're going to not like mention that at all after this because we already saw that in the game and we can already play with it. And you probably watched me uh, play with it uh, during my stream a couple of days ago. And... Uh, we're gonna concentrate on the RSI Galaxy that was announced, well, it's gonna be yesterday for you during the IC. So let me roll the intro and let's talk about the RSI Galaxy. Hello, my name is Alright, so let me start off by saying that I want to do something different today. I don't want to just react to, to the video because, uh, first of all, I want to make this video as short as possible. So, like, having them talking and then me talking as, like, a response to them is just going to take a while. So let's try to keep this as short as possible. Uh, one of the reasons is, uh, like, uh, I, I went to the dentist and they took uh, a two of my teeth out and I am on pain medication right now and, yeah. So um, they showed us the RSI Galaxy and you can probably see the pictures right now on the screen and uh, it looks mighty fine and looks really nice but there are a few problems with it that I wanted to tell you about because it's gonna be on sale in a couple of days from now. Of course, it depends on the time and date when you're watching this. So first of all, let's talk about the ship itself. Uh, we have a bunch of pictures and we have some info, but we do not have all the info. And my guess is that all the info will come on Sunday, so like two days from now during the uh, RSI day uh, in the IAE. So if you're watching this in the future, if you're uh, from the future hello future it's currently IAE and uh, that's what's uh, happening so uh, yeah we're just waiting for more info but the things that we saw look promising but also they are a bit concerning so first of all I can see that uh, the uh, galaxy is going to have three turrets and from what I can see all of them will probably be uh, remotely controlled probably from the cockpit. Uh, they seem to be size fives but they could be size sixes maybe I don't know and that's all that we know about the weaponry but knowing RSI it's probably gonna have a shit ton of missiles like the Andromeda and uh, all the other RSI ships. The good thing is that the base model without the modules because this ship is uh, supposed to be be modular the the main model is going to have a pretty big hangar in the back and it's a really good design and thank you CEG for like making an actual hangar for the like ship like uh, that was one of my biggest complaints with all the ships like all the capital ships that had hangars uh, like none of them were back or front loading and uh, you would just have to like land inside of them this looks like a ship from the future and uh, it, it looks really really nice now that is all that we can see from the pictures but there is a few things that we know because they said it in the video itself so this ship is going to be modular and it's going to have three modules uh, that you can uh, exchange uh, so uh, first of which is going to be a refinery uh, the second one is going to be a medical uh, module and the third one is going to be a cargo module uh, we know from the leaks that the cargo module is basically going to give you the same amount of SU uh, space uh, as the caterpillar so 512 SUs of cargo if I remember correctly and the medical module is going to have all three different tiers of beds so uh, tier one tier two and tier three tier one being the the ones that you can spawn in tier two being the one where you can heal and tier three being the ones uh, like in the cutty red or the medical pisces or pisces rescue uh, that uh, are there just to stabilize you and that's it so um yeah uh, it's it's cool i don't know like um uh, they are still saying that medical gameplay is gonna be a huge thing in the in the future but i just don't see it but yeah I'm, I'm not gonna comment on that that much um, the last one is gonna be the refinery module which looks really promising but I don't really understand how that's gonna work because once you refine that ore that's gonna be placed into like SU uh, one SU cargo boxes so where are those boxes gonna go because we don't really know how much 
uh, SU space, it will have like a vanilla uh, one without the cargo module. Uh, we saw something in the leaks, it was like 32 SUs of cargo, that's not much. Uh, like, it, are the boxes gonna go in the back uh, where the uh, the hangar is, but like it can only fit a, a Pisces or something a bit bigger. So I, I, I don't really understand it, we will see I guess. And the only other good thing that I can comment on that uh, we saw in the pictures is that it's gonna have like the uh, refining mod module is going to have a tractor beam on the underside of the ship so you will pick up those saddlebags from your prospectors in the malls and place them uh, like directly into the refinery but uh, again we got to see how the refinery is going to work and uh, like we ha don't have refining so uh, we're still waiting on the misc expanse uh, that's uh, that's apparently going to bring us the refinery and after that maybe we're going to get the refinery module for the galaxy now, uh, you are here because you know that I'm going to point out some issues. And of course, there are going to be some issues with this whole thing. And let's start off with saying, because this is all the info that we have right now. And should you buy it? No, not right now. Not even on Sunday when they give us all the info on the ship. Uh, because why would you? Because it's not going to be in the game anytime soon. Now, the glaring issues are these. We have like a bunch of modular ships already. Uh, three of which are currently in the game, but they are not modular because modularity is not a thing. The Carrick, the Caterpillar, and the Retaliator. They are all modular ships and they are not modular because that is not like th that feature is not in the game. So why is it not in the game? Well, I'm going to roll you a clip from last year and you're going to hear it from John Crew himself. Where is player facing modularity? We've been hearing about this thing for quite some time. Uh, and what, what can you tell us, if anything, about this system? Uh, so it is it is still planned. Uh, I say this every time that people ask me. Uh, it's still planned. It's not something that we want to get rid of or uh, just not doing it and hoping people forget it exists, which is what I, I see a lot on Spectrum. Um, <laughs> it's The big thing is it's quite a there's a core tech blocker on it which is uh item port system uh needs to work within object containers which it does uh, at the moment like ships have or stations have item ports inside them uh the problem it has at the moment is object containers assume some sort of level of they are static they're not dynamic they can't object containers themselves can't move and they really don't like being um, deleted and undeleted at runtime, um, and the item port system within those would have to dynamically attach and detach. So we we use the retaliator as the really good example for this. And uh, when we have this in, it will be the first ship that gets the modularity in game. The retaliator bomber modules need the item ports for the torpedoes mm -hmm. to be placed within the object containers, which. The object container itself will be in an item attached to the ship uh, and we need the game to be able to read those detached and undetached events and link all the uh, power uh, and missile controllers to the items within those object containers um, because at the moment those um, torpedo items are actually part of the exterior ship cga to make them work so whilst we could do the modularity right now you'd never be able to get rid of those torpedoes in the ship. Um, so you would swap out the room and have the like the the uh, drop seat room, be able to swap it in, could do that right now. You just have these four size nine torpedoes shoved in the room at the same time as well. So what we're waiting on is the, <clears throat> the vehicle tech team to work on that dynamic detach and retaching of item ports in object containers in items attached to ships it's just it it requires a, a pretty size it requires a pretty sizable chunk of time and resources in order yeah to it's, it's a lot of low level engineering uh people and the people that are best suited to doing it uh unfortunately the people that are looking at server meshing because they're they're ironically the people that made the object containers and a lot of the original pipe system code 
Yeah. So basically what he said here, and this was an answer to a question like from, I guess it's going to be like two years ago now because it, it was 2021 and we're almost at 2023 at this point. Uh, like they did not have the tech uh, to support modularity and they still do not have the tech to support modularity because the people that are uh, supposed to make it are also making server meshing and we still don't have server meshing. So you can expect this ship to go uh, from concept into, uh, well, white box, gray box or whatever phase once we get server meshing. And if it happens before that, it's not going to be modular, is it? So, um, yeah, like with that, then maybe the Carrick and the Caterpillar and uh, the Retailator are going to get their modularity too. But I guess we'll see at, at, at that point, because like that's far in the future and I cannot see that far. Also, there is one more thing that you need to know, and I don't want to like pull out a clip because I just showed it in the last last two videos and I guess it's getting boring uh, just watch my previous videos uh, they have put a pin into the BMM or the Banner Merchant Man and they said that there's no point in having like those big ships without all the features inside of them for example a resource management and uh, uh, stuff like that it doesn't matter so uh, they don't want to make uh, big empty ships that are just gonna feel weird because they're just gonna be oversized gladiuses that are just gonna fly and have guns and that's it so that only means that uh, this ship also is gonna feel like that unless they postpone it un until we get all those features for ships uh, for example resource management so um, with that said I don't really know what to tell you I don't think that you should spend your money on yet another concept uh, looks nice although I must say the interior like the layout is weird uh, I don't really like it I don't like that um, like at least 25 of, uh, percent of the ship uh, is unused of the 3d model of the exterior uh, model because you can see that the interior does not cover most of the ship and uh, i don't really like that that's just like unused space in a ship also we all, i can't have pool tables and all that like it's a question of if that's ever going to work or, or not because you would think that uh, it's like it's simple enough to make the pool working like make it work somehow but i guess it's not i guess we're still waiting on server meshing and that's why i have no idea so with that said uh, that is it for today guys thank you for watching and thank you to all my patrons that are supporting the channel if you want to support the channel there's going to be a link down in the description of the video uh, you can support me on patreon but you can also support me by buying my merch and uh, if you like my channel, if you like the content that I'm putting out, first of all, you gotta understand that uh, the revenue on YouTube is shit and that there are a lot of monthly expenses that I have to cover just to make uh, videos and uh, yeah, this is a way to like support me. And if you like me, if you like the content, you're probably gonna like these uh, uh, things that you're seeing here because you can wear them on your t-shirts. And I guess that that's a way like, if you don't want to support me through Patreon, you can buy a t-shirt or, or a hoodie and at least you're gonna get something in return, I guess. So again, thank you for watching and don't forget to bring a towel when you're traveling through space and mwah. Bye. Also, the Pisces is, is really good and you gotta check it out. It's basically one of the best ships. Uh, I didn't want to talk about this uh, in this video, but I'm just gonna drop a few. Uh, it's small, it's it's Pisces, it, it's the same, but the Pisces medical is just, you can interact with almost everything in the ship itself. And that's how all the ships in this game should be designed from the Pisces uh, uh, up to the A90 Jump and the Carrack and the Javelin, etc. So with that said, again, mwah, bye, love you, and buy my merch. <laughs> Shameless plug. <laughs>